Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the month of November 2016. Uh, this month, definitely check out astrojar.com. Uh, the entire month of November, we are doing a bunch of updates to the site and adding a bunch more people and a bunch more things on there as well, resources and things like that. So it should turn into something pretty cool, which I think it already has, but um, you know, definitely going to get cooler, which is great. But let's see what comes up for you this month of November. And uh, interesting. You have the opposite of what everybody has been getting, uh, which is actually not necessarily a bad thing either. Uh, I think it'll make your life a little bit easier if nothing else, but let's see what's going on for you. Yeah, everybody, there's been this uh, definite strong pull towards people needing to be careful with their health, needing to be careful with friends, and uh, needing to just be careful in general. And luckily, you really don't have any of those same warning cards that everybody else has been getting, so that's good. Uh, the first card you have is the Eight of Hearts, and uh, let's see, what else do we have here? We do we have a Jack showing up and a Queen as well. Both, both cards, specifically the Jack, can represent an admirer coming in, male or female. Uh, I don't attach sex to the card, so it could be either or. Um, you know, whatever your preference. So there definitely is love on the table. Eight of Hearts is a card of being swept off your feet, of meeting somebody who absolutely, you know, sweeps you off your feet and things like that. You also have the Four of Hearts as well. I would say, so the combo, and we'll talk about this a little bit more when we get to the Four of Hearts, but the combo, the Eight of Hearts with the Four of Hearts, I think could lead to um, definitely some deeper commitments in love as well, especially if you are, are um, already in a relationship. Um, and even if you're not, this could be actually pretty significant pretty significant. I can't get my words out today, uh, but uh, it could mean that you meet somebody pretty important as well to you. So that's very nice. This is also just a great card if you are involved in anything like sales or uh, anything where you're giving energy, even if you're just donating your time or something like that, like maybe you're volunteering or something this month, you could get extra, you know, kind of extra good uh, karma and, and energy back from that as well. It could be very fulfilling for you. Uh, even again, the donation thing popped into my head. So even if you're donating your time or doing something nice like that this month, it could again come back to you kind of a little bit extra this month, which would be nice as well. Uh, next, you have the Four of Spades, a card of recovery. Again, like I said, everybody else, for whatever reason, and has had warning messages about health and all this other stuff. Four of Spades says that you'll, you'll, if anything, you'll be recovering from a health issue. You could be getting over some sort of illness or kind of healing some sort of injury or something along those lines. This is a card of recovery and recovering from something. Uh, it's also a great card for becoming more comfortable in life, like finally feeling like you are more comfortable. I think all fire signs are definitely have been their whole entire lives working towards a certain level of comfort. Uh, pretty much all fire signs probably have not had that their entire lives um, that have not reached the level of comfort that they want and that means something different for all, all, you know all of you but um, it's definitely something you're working towards and this card says you're, you're getting it you're starting to uh, get there which is nice as well uh, next you have the four of hearts like I said great card for love great card for commitments especially if you're already in a relationship um, if you're not interested in a relationship this is just a great card for meeting new friends meeting new people in general um, and also kind of meeting up with family and, and things like that. It is also a great card for new jobs, new businesses, and starting anything new. You have two fours here. Fours are my cards of new. They represent new things coming in, So, and you have two of them. So I would say it could be a really good month for you to start any new projects, any new ideas, plans, things like that. Um, Definitely highlighted under this card, these cards. Again, and you have the opposite of what everybody else had, has. You have the Six of Clubs, which is like the card of friends, the card of being able to have fun with other people, being able to have fun with friends, going out with friends, things like that. So it's a great card for that. Also a great card for education and learning. Actually, education and learning are kind of highlighted under this card. That doesn't even necessarily mean like going to school. That could mean reading a book or listening to a podcast or watching some YouTube videos and things like that. This is a great card for when you are stuck as well because it specifically says wherever you are stuck, try to learn something new. Again, read a book. If you're stuck in relationships, read a book about relationships uh, or watch some YouTube videos about relationships. Again, there's tons and tons and tons of free information out there. You know, people do stuff for free 
all the time now. It's crazy. I just read a story about somebody who created some sort of app that they sold for tons of money and they learned how to do it for free, like with all free resources and things like that. So, you know, it's definitely possible to do anything you want just by, you know, learning how to do it through YouTube and things like that. So don't be afraid to gather knowledge with this card. Queen of Hearts also has a very similar message. She's probably maybe the most educated queen out of the deck and uh, definitely would try to learn things to overcome obstacles. Also a great card for love and love coming in. I don't actually think this is necessarily a person. I think the Jack is representing, uh, that, that we have here at the end, could be representing love coming in for you for sure. Um, I think this is just representing the energy of, of love opening up to Sagittarius. Uh, and again, uh, I would say if you're not interested in love, then, you know, or if you already have love, it could mean deeper love. And it can also just mean love from people in general, friends, family, things like that coming in for you. Next, you have the Ten of Spades. Ten of Spades is a card of worrying about things that you don't need to worry about. Uh, I think I said this to you last week, maybe, or maybe the week before. Uh, you, things seem to be moving forward for you. And sometimes when that happens, we kind of jump to the negative, right? You know, things start going well we're like okay when's the bad thing gonna happen when's you know when's whatever gonna happen to us so don't immediately jump to the negative let that stuff go on the flip side this is also a great transformation card kind of like the death card uh, it just represents transformation and moving past something so it's still not such a bad card and at the end here you have the jack of spades again i feel like this is somebody coming in somebody who's interested in you. So again, if you're looking for love, if you're not looking for love, and like, like I said, if you already have it, um, and even if you are looking for love, this is still a good card for being very resourceful and looking at resources. Not immediately, like if, if something doesn't work out this month, don't just let it go. Like, you know, people sometimes quit on things too soon. This is a card where if something that you want to have happen doesn't work out, look for another way to make it happen. Um, nothing ever works out for the Jack of Spades. <laughs> That's the uh, the thing. He has to learn to look for some other way of doing things. His first try, his second try, you know, never works. So don't give up too easily because again, the thing about that is, oh yeah, maybe it, things don't work out right away for him, but when they do work out, they work out like 10 times better than he could have ever imagined, but you have to put the work in to kind of get that reward. So make sure to do that. And don't give up too easily this, this month, but looks like a great month. So uh, thank you for watching and enjoy your November.